recently we had some discussion again about the definition of a gold nugget. What would you call a gold nugget? Well, obviously there are some different opinions and different definitions depending on, on the area. So I thought, why not make a video about this topic and discuss it. So what's your opinion? What's your definition? Please write it in the comment section. What would you call a nugget? Well, basically there's no clear scientific definition what you can call a gold nugget. A gold nugget basically is a piece of gold, a lump of gold. Sure, we all understand something like it has to have some have some, some mass, it has to be chunky. Nobody would call a, a dust particle a gold nugget, maybe an ant would. There are some definitions you can read which say the gold nugget has to do with the shape. It has to be somehow chunky, it has to have some volume, it doesn't have to be uh, really a flat piece of gold. So I think you all, I hope so, everybody would agree that this guy here is uh, clearly a gold nugget. So it, it's 10 gram, it's bulky, it's, it's chunky. This is a gold nugget, it makes a sound in the pan. But what about this guy here? Well, it's six gram. It's really, yeah, it's big, but it's, it's flat. So according to the shape definition, this would be a flake, right? But would you call this a flake? I, I wouldn't. I think, I hope so, you agree. This is also a nugget. So it's not only the shape. Maybe the most common definition I know is every, every piece of gold heavier than one gram is can, you can call gold nugget. And I think this is pretty good definition. Pieces which are smaller, which you can, which you can pick out by fingers uh, and which yeah, has some, some mass, some volume, I would call a picker. And very often I hear this as well. There are also pieces with a lot of quartz in it, which are rather crystalline. And, and so this I would call a specimen or in German a Goldstufe. I think above one gram, the gold particles become rarer and rarer. There are sure many of them worldwide, but the huge portion of gold found, found worldwide uh, may be particles smaller than one gram. I think one gram as, as a threshold is, is a pretty good definition. Um, but obviously it also depends on the, on the area where you live. In Australia, one gram is not that spectacular. Uh, you know, for, for example, here in, in, in Europe, it's, it's much rarer. Another cool definition is everything which makes a sound. If you throw it in the pan, it could be called a gold nugget. But this guy here, I have to be careful not to spill it, but... <laughs> But this guy here, uh, yeah, it's, it makes clearly a sound and it has 0.2 gram. It was my first larger flake I found. And yeah, I wouldn't call this a nugget. You agree? So it has to be somehow at three points, maybe a little bit the shape as well, the, the, the mass and maybe also the, the region where it was found uh, plays a role. This guy here has 1.2 grams. So according to the weight definition, it's a nugget, but it's very flat and it even has some, some um, structure in it. So is this rather a flake or even a specimen? I don't know. It's really not that important. Important for me is I found this guy exactly here at this spot seven and a half years ago. <laughs> The, the experience of finding such an awesome piece. I will never forget it when I found this here. And I even won't forget this day here today because it's so beautiful here. I love it to be here out in nature and uh, yeah, look around. It's prospecting here is currently not allowed yet. I have to wait for spring, but I, I look around here and I enjoy nature. It was really a pleasure to have you here again. Thanks for watching. Maybe you want to watch my other video about how we found larger gold nuggets. I can recommend watching it. There's really some method behind it. Or you could subscribe to my channel and uh, stay tuned for the other videos I plan to, to bring soon about uh, gold prospecting tips. Have fun and take care.